Thomas Thompson, the 12th of April 1773 to the 2nd of August 1852, was a Scottish chemist and mineralogist whose writings contributed to the early spread of Dalton's atomic theory. His scientific accomplishments include the invention of the saccharometer and he gave silicon its current name. He served as president of the Philosophical Society of Glasgow. Thompson was the father of the botanist Thomas Thompson, and the uncle and father-in-law of the medical officer of health Robert Thompson. <laughs> Life and work Thomas Thompson was born in Creef in Perthshire, on 12 April 1773 the son of John Thompson and his wife, Elizabeth Ewan. He was educated at Creef Parish School and Stirling Borough School. He then studied for a general degree at the University of St Andrews to study in classics, mathematics, and natural philosophy from 1787 to 1790. He had a five-year break then entered University of Edinburgh to study medicine in 1795, graduating in 1799. During this latter period he was inspired by his tutor, Professor Joseph Black, to take up the study of chemistry. In 1796, Thomson succeeded his brother, James, as assistant editor of the supplement to the third edition of the Encyclopaedia Britannica, contributing the articles Chemistry, Mineralogy, and Vegetable, Animal and Dying Substances. In 1802, Thomson used these articles as the basis of his book System of Chemistry. His book Elements of Chemistry, published in 1810, displayed how volumes of different gases react in a way in a way that supported the atomic theory. In 1802 he began teaching chemistry in Edinburgh. In 1805 he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. His proposers were Robert Jameson, William Wright, and Thomas Charles Hope. Thomson dabbled in publishing, acted as a consultant to the Scottish Excise Board, invented the instrument known as Allen's Saccharometer, and opposed the geological theories of James Hutton, founding the Wernerian Natural History Society of Edinburgh as a platform in 1808. In March 1811 he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society and in 1815 was elected a corresponding member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. In 1813 he founded Annals of Philosophy a leader in its field of commercial scientific periodicals. In 1817 he gave silicon its present name, rejecting the suggested silicium because he felt the element had no metallic characteristics, and that it chemically bore a close resemblance to boron and carbon. In 1817, Thomson became lecturer in and subsequently Regius Professor of Chemistry at the University of Glasgow, retiring in 1841. In 1820, he identified a new zeolite mineral, named Thomsonite, in his honour. He lived his final years at 8 Brandon Place in Glasgow but died at Kilman in Argyllshire in 1852, aged 79, and was buried at Dean Cemetery in Edinburgh but also has a memorial at the Glasgow Necropolis. <laughs> <laughs> Family In 1816 he married Agnes Calhoun. He was uncle and father-in-law to Robert Dundas Thompson FRSE. Topic: <laughs> Honors. Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1805. Fellow of the Royal Society 1811. Topic: <laughs> Selected writings. System of Chemistry 1802 The Elements of Chemistry 1810 History of the Royal Society from its institution to the end of the 18th century 1812 An attempt to establish the first principles of chemistry by experiment 1825 History of Chemistry 1830 A System of Chemistry of Inorganic Bodies 1831 Chemistry of Animal Bodies 1843 Outlines of Mineralogy and Geology 1836 Chemistry article in 7th edition of Encyclopaedia Britannia 1842 from 1813 to 1822 he was editor of the Annals of Philosophy Topic In Culture 
In June 2011, Russian artist Alexander Taratinov installed a life-size statue of French architect Thomas de Thoman in St. Petersburg. The statue is part of the Architects, a bronze sculptural group depicting the great architects of Russian Empire as commissioned by Gazprom and installed in Alexander Park. In 2018, Taratinov admitted he used a picture he found on Wikipedia to base the statue on, and that it was actually an image of the Scottish chemist Thomas Thomson. Taratinov blamed Wikipedia for the error but also himself for not checking with a historian to verify it was accurate. <laughs> Notes <laughs>